Welcome everybody, Just Mike here. Anyway, we have a Master Crafters clock to work on. It's the Swinging Girl. And this one was damaged a bit in shipping. And it's a really filthy clock. But for the price I got it for, including some of the refund, this made it well worth getting this clock. Let me show you what I got here. So this is a clock I got. This whole bottom piece in the corner and there's a piece missing I couldn't even find it. Uh, I re-glued that back on for now. But I don't know if you can see how filthy this poor clock is. Which when I get it apart you'll be able to see. Now this clock will not run. And I did open it already just to take a look at it. This actually has the motor in it because you can see how this sticks out and because of that I think I have a chance of fixing it now on this on this type of a clock if the girl will swing but the clock will not work there's a good chance your gear is wore out or broke in there and it is pretty spendy to get it offline from this guy in Canada that uh, sells them. I think they're there. Let me take a look. You can get this off a of line. I'm not being paid by them, so I'm not, I don't care who they're from. You can figure that out if you want. But on here, it tells you they're going to sell you that gear, a full one, not a broken one, for 35 bucks. And this is coming from Canada, so I don't remember if there's any more. Uh, on the shipping or anything to get it over to our side. So anyway, that's already telling you, you got $35 more you're going to spend on your clock if that gear's broke to where the time doesn't run because it only operates the time and doesn't operate the swinging girl. So on the back here, I need to take those screws out and those two nuts and when you're taking these two nuts off, you need to hold the front of your clock. This is supposed to be wedged in by this framework. There's a couple places you can bend it to hold it in. But some of them will just pop right out. Maybe because someone was already into it. I don't know. So hold on to the glass part and then you can take those two nuts out. So I just got those out. And now we'll pop this plate out. Now, like I say, this is quite dirty. That their fence needs to come off. And if I can't scrub it clean, I'm just going to paint it white again. And it's held on by, popped on there by those, uh, We'll call them screws in the back side. They're kind of a triangle shape. But you can see it's kind of dirty. The background almost doesn't matter. It's nice to have it crisp, I guess we'll say. But it is a vintage clock. And so this is just your background noise, we'll call it, compared to the girl. So let's take the girl off and the way you do that is you just pull her up and it comes right off and as you can see it's hollow on the back side you can see it's hollow on the back side and you can see she's really filthy you can't really tell what color she is because She's brownish there. She's almost overly, overly white there. And so what I plan on doing is just repainting this whole thing, including her skin. Try to get some kind of a paint that's a skin tone. This is supposed to be a powdery blue or whatever color you want it. I will repaint her skin tone the best I can. And... I don't know if I want that powder, powdery blue, powdery blue or not. As you can see over here, 
I changed her blue dress to a red dress because I wanted a red dress. And I have another one that I changed over to a blue dress, not a powdery blue dress. And of course I repainted her hair, which is yellow, his shirt, which is yellow, to bring, bring the colors together, that's how it was. The only thing I changed was I painted her dress. I painted the outlines because the dress is a frilly dress and they just airbrushed paint onto them to sell the clocks. So that's kind of what I'm going to do here is not airbrush. I'm going to use enamel paint on this part. The skin tone, I do believe, is just a paint paint. I don't know if it's a gloss or not. I think it might be, but we'll see. So this here was probably taken from a hoard or from an old person's place that possibly died because, like I say, it is just totally filthy filthy the light bulb is half the wattage it's supposed to be because it's got this oily dirt over it and let's see so now we can get the works out you have these cardboard things over those screws so you don't over tighten those nuts that go on here so that's what those cardboard deals are for now to get the this works out Besides, I have to dewire it. Inside here, you have those uh, brass colored, uh, it, it's part, part of this ring here. And when you get that out, then you have to release your dial. And from there, on the underside of the dial, there'll be a, a nut or screw that comes in and holds onto this plate here. So I don't see any of this metal going over, holding on to the housing. It's just snugged in the hole. But this whole piece here is coming with it. So take it easy, but start pushing it out. And it should come out as an angle once you get it out so far. And I didn't, I took the nuts off, but I didn't disconnect the wires, untwist them. So now we need to bend all of these up to separate the glass and this brass piece here. And while you have this off, it doesn't hurt to take some brass cleaner and clean this. And of course, this here is really coated with grease or dirt or whatever. So I'm going to clean that also. But once we get that off, then we'll take the hands off so we can get that face plate off of there so we can get to the nuts. But first we'll have to straighten these out. So the motor comes down through and on this here bar here holds a gear that spins and it spins against, there's a fiber gear in there. If you can see that in there or not, that fiber gear will fall apart on you so you don't wash it. And it's not that nice looking gear you're looking at right there. That's the one that turns and makes the girl swing. It's but it's still run off that same rod off the motor that's in there, that brass piece. So anyway, we're gonna try to get down to it, mainly because I want to clean this, but I am not gonna get too close to that fiber gear. Okay, I pulled the hands off by my fingers. A little rough, but you can do it. This plate has little divots to hold it in place for where it needs to fit without spinning around. 
And I might be able to just pop this right off. Maybe I have to bend that a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. So that's in pretty good shape. The crystal's in pretty good shape. And here, now this is gooped with oil. I don't know if they've sprayed in here already or what. But we have these four nuts to take off. And then we'll get to the motor. So we have the three nuts off of there. This should pop right out of there now. In which these two are going to slide down so don't have a heart attack there. So let's set this aside a second. This is what changes the time to your clock that you had pushed down to get the gear to activate the other gears. And you can see how dirty it is in there besides. But it does work. Just that it needs cleaned up really good. So here, this here just pops off, or should. That goes to the minute hand. And that's part of the system. The rest isn't going to come off. Now, this mechanism here that rocks the girl this should just pop right off Let me hold. there we go so you get that end off first because you can see this one's got a hook on it and there's the gear that drops all the way down through and be good to clean this here as far as I know, everything's metal on here, so nothing's really fragile. We're getting down to the fragile part. And that's this motor here with a fiber gear. Let me see if I can see it better in here somewhere. Okay, so the motor spins this shaft that I'm touching. And right there is the gear that's made out of fiber that you will destroy so easily. And if it's not already destroyed, that's what usually is wrong with the clock if it doesn't work. It's either because this needs to be re-lubed or whatnot, or that gear is messed up. See, this needs to be re-looped. It seems to spin okay, but when I spun it, when I had it plugged in, it pops out and then tries to spin. This here needs cleaned, but I'm going to be very careful with that fiber gear in there. Once we take these off and get all the gears up out of the way, this lower plate is cocked on there and you can twist and cock it off. It's usually spring loaded underneath and when I say spring, it's a plate that has a bow in it. So let me get those three screws off or nuts off and then we'll go from there. Okay, this happened to be easy when I started to take the nut off and this twisted and there's your motor. You see how dirty that is? And it looks a little burnt on the sides. Of course, these clocks ran continuously. There's no way to shut off the swing motion. It just runs continuously. The only thing you can shut off is a light that lights up them. So back to this clock. Right there is that spring plate I was telling you about. It just pops off of there. I don't know if you can see the what this looks like for sure. But trust me, it does have a wows in it, and that those wows are the actual spring of this.
Now as for this motor, like I say, this here bounces up and down. And I'm going to try prying on this brass, uh, we'll call it a gear. I'm sure it's what it is. Because realistically, I like to get in here and maybe see about the lubing inside. See if there's anything I can clean up. And if I mess up, at least you guys will know better not to do that. So like I said, I'm going to try to pry that off of there. Okay, get the three nuts off. Let's pull this thing apart. So there's a jewel that has that fiber gear I've been telling you about. And this thing's made to come out. It's open on this end. And there you go. $30 there if you break that little washer off of there And then this gear comes off So now I can put this in the parts cleaner this one here. I will not I will try without hurting that gear I will try to clean this up a little bit, but that's about it. I don't want to mess that gear up. And it does look good considering it being really dirty. For taking these off, you just have to pry underneath there. You're going to destroy the picture a little bit, but that's not even seen. And that is just a wash or a pin that's kind of expanded over. So the best you can do is get the smallest screwdriver you can get, work it underneath there, pointing towards the pin, you get it underneath there, and it'll pop right out. Now this does need a little bit of cleaning too. I'm not going to get carried away because I don't want to get this darkened picture ruined. And it seems like it's really in there nicely. It's not a... Uh, bubbling up or anything else so I'll try to clean this up a little bit too like I say on this here more than likely I'm going to run it through the sonic cleaner but more than likely I'm going to end up painting this to get it pretty white again well I'm waiting for those parts to get cleaned I'm going to go ahead and shine this up I'm just using this to shine it up so there it is. Not perfect, but it's shinier. Now this might have had a varnish coat over it because it was what we'll call yellow. And that came off, I'm going to guess, when I shine this thing up. If you want to leave it like this, which I'm going to, or if you want to try spraying some shellac or something on there, you go for it. It's your clock, but I'm going to leave mine like this. This here is a crystal, I guess we'll call it, compared to this clock here, you notice doesn't have the ring on it. Now I don't know if that's the same type or not, but this one has the line on the back where the one with the ring has has this on it that kind of tells me it's got a motor in it compared to what they call a motor in this one but then again this is cheaper to fix because all you have to do is pretty much replace that plastic gear in there that they do sell online if you look around for it you'll find it I got the crystal as clean as I can get it. Now, back in the old days, 
smoking in the house was acceptable and smoking was encouraged even by the doctors according to the magazines and I'm going to guess this clock was in a house that uh, had some smokers because the rag really was this is a second rag but you can see it's kind of yellowed and it did have a smoke odor to this when I was cleaning it after I got it wet so just saying that that's what was in this clock I don't know if you can see that or not but I just noticed down below here it says clock movement by sessions made in USA so there's a chance you can go online and maybe look that up and see if you can find that gear any cheaper if you need it she actually cleaned up pretty nice and this shows there was gold in there for the trim on her dress I'm gonna guess which never seen that before Maybe it's because of age or I, I don't know. And the fence is just a cream color. I'm going to go ahead and paint it white to make this thing look new again. Get that washer on top. I put a touch of grease right there. This can very well be clock oil also, and which I'll probably go ahead and add a little bit of clock oil besides. And we need clock oil, obviously, under here. A little grease there, because it's really wearing. And here we don't want to forget this. Like I say, it's opened at this end. And that's where the brass gear fits. That slides into the hole and it just notches over to that area there. And while I'm here, I'm going to add some oil there. There we go. It's all in there. This goes over here. Let's put the nuts back on. Now in the motor I went ahead and used clock oil inside here right where the shaft is. I couldn't get this apart, couldn't get that off. That's all, that's what, how it's been ever since I got it. But I did, uh, let's just say, plugged it in and it ran with no load on it so we can see if that's going to work and give this a quick brush down so now you just figure your washer goes on there a spring washer then it clicks into here which I don't think it makes any difference which hole it goes in because it's squared I guess we'll call the word just get it in you give it a twist now it's on there so on here it does make a difference you can almost see how it sets 
and no matter what the screws are going to have to go in the hole so you have to get the right screws in which there you go I'm going to put the three nuts on and be right back now on this I got it all the stuff was cleaned in the cleaner and then I used uh, Dawn dishwash soap on each one of these places where the wire or the metal housing touches it needs to be oiled just because of the type of lube it's gonna need some kind of a lube and then your rocker go ahead and put a drop on each end of this rocker I don't know this need it needs it because it's supposed to be loose that oil can't hurt right <laughs> so this didn't go that way let's see this here's this gear goes in and touches the motor so you put the bottom in first because of that hook and then it just clips you push it in and it clips into place I scrubbed this down the best I could to get most of the grossness off of here. I printed some grass on photo paper. I used tacky glue to give a couple spots on this piece of green metal. And I'll cut this to size and just tack it in there so it looks a little nicer. Just ooze out wherever it wants. Now let that dry in there, and it'll by accident maybe look halfway decent. So the next thing we need to do while that's drying is take our glass, make sure it's all in there. get our dial and they have as you've seen the grooves in there for where this is going to fit I didn't bend the bottom one so I'll put that one in first pop the top on and give that just a little bend down it's not going to take much of anything and that's going to stay there at least I should hope I left that one tab down, so I'm going to try to slide this behind it, and then pop this in. You take some of these and bend them down, get the point to touch the, we'll say the dial. And you don't have to do every one. They had every one done. That's up to you what you want to do. How often are you going to take this apart and clean it? Probably never again. So I have three of them bent. That way if it wants to fall out it can, but it won't fall out going out the back. It has to do it from the front.
got to make sure my metal tabs and everything are in so this here will slide right in there we go guess what I forgot the hands I'll be back when I get the hands in now the hands are on does look very nice and looks a lot better since the glass has been cleaned amazing grass is still drying but sticking so here get things put away here a little bit So I got it wired back to the wire nuts. Let's plug it in and see if it works. It starts right up. I don't even have to fool with it. How's this side work? Yep. Working. So the next thing we need to do is get the swing on. And I'm going to have to wash that light bulb. That is so nasty. I think it's clear, but it will be when I get done with it. So we can take the girl and hook her up to the wire or to the holes. The bulb's clean now, but I did want to mention this might be an original bulb to this. It's never turned on. I don't know, but this is a brass end. Not, not that often you find those anymore. Now let's plug it in. Just start swinging right away. Before I show you that side again, let me get this back screwed on. Oh, we still have... The wonderful, wonderful picket fence are put back in. And one of those things already popped out. I have to get it and put it back on. And so here it is working. I lucked out that that gear wasn't broke, but trying to listen to what they said that nothing really ran including this and this having the motor type like I've showed you it gave me the hint this would work if the motor was running and that was hopeful fingers crossed the one on this side has a different motor in it and if those aren't rocking or the clock doesn't work or I should say none of it works that means you need that plastic gear that I've said in another video. So I hope you've learned something on these clocks. That you're gambling when you buy them. I will admit that. And now maybe you might know that it's going to cost you a little bit if something's broke in it. Meaning that fiber gear in there. Otherwise, uh, what was it? 10 bucks for that plastic one for that different type of a... Uh, Master Crafters clock. Anyway, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching, cleaning up this poor clock, and bringing it back to life again. Sad it broke on the corner, but I got that fixed enough that I'm happy with it. So anyway, so don't forget to subscribe because it's free! And give me a thumbs up, and down in the comments, just say hello, I'd appreciate it. I read all the comments, can't get to them all, but I do read them all. So anyway, until next time, God bless, and we'll see what's up next time.